thinking about moving or relocating to Wichita, Kansas, and you're wondering if it's going to be a fit for you and yours, well, like any city, there's pros, there's cons, certain lifestyles, certain vibes. So we're throwing 10 things you probably didn't know about living in Wichita, Kansas. This one's going to be jam-packed. It's probably going to end up being more than 10 things. So make sure you stay till the end, all right? We're getting after it right now. always do me a solid if you get any value out of this like comment subscribe hit the bell so you're notified when we kick these videos out each and every week got a question reach out i can't read your mind call text email send the carrier pigeons whatever you gotta do to get the help you need i'm helping people each and every day i love it Morning, noon, night, weekends i got you back wichita metro and the surrounding areas Real estate only, please. Plugs aside, we're getting after it right now. We're just going to throw two in this first one right off the bat. <clears throat> if you got allergies, you're going to have a challenging time here. Whether it's the windy weather or we're talking all the, all the various pollen from the trees, from the grass, from the weeds. The way the weather works around here, you know, it's kind of hit and miss. More times than not, it just kind of seems like uh, that pollen is just not having any issues traveling. I don't, I don't think I necessarily have allergies to that kind of stuff, but you know, you kind of get the uh, the back and forth with the weather, hot, the hot and cold, kind of messing with you. So that's also another fun little thing. So. But yeah, a lot of different types of trees. This one back here is a black walnut. We got a, I think it was, what, oak up front. It's just a lot of different, a lot of different types of trees. Um, I think the one that got me the most, I want to say, I want to say it was a cottonwood or something. I'm not too sure what the name was, but it just, that smell just sticks with you, just like, wet dog or something it's just nasty i don't know i'm no expert i'm sure someone will let me know but al yeah if you got allergies yeah <laughs> you're gonna have a fun time so number two kind of speaking of the weather whenever the weather takes um a dip whether it's rain it's snow ice uh tornadoes well whenever there's bad weather people tend to get a little crazy um at the store so if you're needing to go to the grocery store i'm talking your staple items uh water milk bread all that stuff make sure you got your stuff because nobody wants to need to go to the store last minute especially for a storm for said items because they're going to be gone you'd swear it was the end of the world with some of these people um you know this is another little one-off the driving is the same you know, a little bit of little bit of fog or some snow, a little bit of ice, and the tr it's like bumper cars out there. You just gotta be, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. The weather, people out in the weather. Um, I know I've I've stated here before the weather. It's so hit and miss here, you know. But these are these are things you want to learn learn from our. Uh, our mistakes <laughs> three I know this is one I've, I've talked about before you can get you can get around town pretty quickly I mean compared to some of these other big places so I'd say 25 30 minutes but if you're jumping you know east westbound over on Kellogg you know results may vary I mean whether it's construction traffic or people just wanting to wanting to race, you know, that might that might add a little time that might add a little time onto it. Or if you're the one racing and not getting a ticket, then you know maybe not. But if you're heading east west, 
Kellogg is going to be that uh, that uh, wild card. You never know. You, you never know. But um, speaking, just speaking of uh, speaking of that, I mean, just just be careful. You know, it might not hurt to add another five five ten minutes to that. Maybe. You know, you never know. You never know. Just don't. Just leave on time. You'll be fine. But overall, if you're coming from these bigger cities, yeah, it's nothing. I mean, I know I've told this story time after time, I've, several times, you know, uh, working at the last job. Real good buddy of mine from that job uh, came from New York. He used to take the subway about an hour and a half, two hours, one way. So we're kind of spoiled. I'll be the first to admit. But, you know, it's kind of part of it. I can tell you, like I said, east eastbound, westbound, Kellogg. That's going to be your your busy your busy street. Um, north and south is going to be this is more so on the north end. I would say this is where the bulk in Wichita. This is where the bulk of your shopping is going to be on up north. So we're going to say North Rock. This will be from. This will be from about uh, Rock, Kellogg and Rock, over by the East Mall, all the way uh, um, past, I'd say, uh, th th 37th and Rock. And uh, the further north we go, the busier it gets. It kind of peaks right after 96. You'll have Sam's just past 96, all these other, all these other businesses, stores, restaurants, what have you. Um, Prout West, not even close. Mays, Mays Road. Um, we actually got an office over by 21st of Mays, and it's, it, it's, I swear, it doesn't matter what time, time of day it is. You know, you get to about, I guess, I'm this, this is just me, 21st of Mays till, uh, I mean, this, this goes all the way up into Mays. The, the town of Mays itself. So, I mean, just from there up, it's just crazy, you know. But a lot of businesses, a lot of um, stores and, and restaurants, what have you. But, I mean, you get a lot, of, a lot of value out of this one. This is like four different things. But on to the next. If you have some people around, if you're coming in, you might get the, the playful, uh, well, what side of town's best, you know, oh, east, east side, west side kind of banter back and forth like we're a bunch of 90s rappers i know i've used this one before so i kind of figured it was good enough to warrant seconds but yeah this is something don't be surprised if you hear you know me personally it don't really matter it it really doesn't matter there's great spots and not so great spots all the way around you know just but you might catch that 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 little friendly banter back and forth so don't be surprised coming from one of these more little more liberal states where you can go to the grocery store you can go to the gas station and get favorite handle of said hard alcohol uh, perhaps you have that dispensary or like one of our neighboring states uh, it's just uh, just been made legal you know First and foremost, this is Kansas. We are going to be a little more conservative than most states. Um, who knows? Maybe one day, just not today. Um, they do have their own little their own little hang-ups. But, I mean, just know this first and foremost. I hope this isn't necessarily going to be something that deters you from here. But, you know, if it does, eh, you know. That... Uh, there are certain hours of, uh, of the day on Sunday for sale of alcohol. And I have heard of restaurants and bars charging a, a different rate for alcohol. So, I mean, I don't know. Just, uh, just a little something to keep in mind. I can't tell you in the last couple of years. I'm not really too sure what's, uh, why this has kind of started. I mean, it's more businesses, more jobs. So I mean, it, it's a it's a positive, but there's been such an influx of car washes, 
So if you're one of those people that like to go, like to get the car washed and all that good stuff, you probably don't want to see my car. Uh, we still got we still got uh, all the dirt and grime on it from last month. So uh, something to work on. Always uh, always something to work on. But there is no shortage of car washes. So you know, little something, little something. You got options all the way around. It's they're everywhere. Like number six, I kind of jumbled. I kind of jumbled some of them together to kind of make this one just a tad bit shorter. But um, we do have a food tax here, and as of January first, that food tax uh, went from uh, what was it? The tax on that was six and a half percent, and it's gone down to four. Now, don't ask. Don't ask. I'll, uh, I'll throw I'll throw a little something in there to cut a uh, news news article for that one. I'm not even going to pretend I know. From what little bit I had seen, like the numbers kind of vary, but it looked like prepared foods were not going to get this, and we're we're not going to get this rate. It's like two different rates. So your prepared stuff was going to be at the old rate, and then your unprepared stuff was going to be at the new rate or something along those lines. I'll, I'll plug something in the description for that, but it might not, might not sound like a big deal, but you know, it's something, oh, you got to eat. Nobody, nobody's going without, come on now, you know, and that might not seem like a whole lot, but it adds up, it gets expensive. You know, this is just, this is, this is important. I've mentioned this one, number seven, we'll just go through it real quick. Don't be surprised if you say Arkansas River, someone corrects you and says, that's the Arkansas River. I mean, I know I've personally used both. I don't even think about it after a while of being here. But you, <laughs> if you're not in the mood to, uh, get corrected just just say yeah, Arkansas <laughs> another one just you wouldn't believe how friendly people are around here I mean no really most of them you're, you're gonna have that you're gonna have that you know select view not so much but a lot of people around here hard-working people very down-to-earth would give you the shirt off their back if uh, if you're willing to put in a little effort, it's not hard to make friends around here. You know, easy, easy, easy. You can meet all kinds of different people. So, I guess I forgot how to count. This is actually number 10. It's going to go without saying, a little common sense. I never assume. Never. And the last one, yes, people overly friendly, down to earth, yes. But this does not mean you don't lock your car. You don't lock your house. Lock your house. Lock your car. Hide your valuables. I never assume. This is not unique to here. I know that. I'm just saying. We can be down to earth. We can be good people. But there's always bad stuff going on. You know, that's not unique to here. So, play it safe. Lock up the car. Lock the house up. We're not going to bed with the doors unlocked. So, I don't know. This is like 10 things you might have not known. But anyways, got any value out of this? Like, comment, subscribe. Got a question? Reach out. Till the next one, guys. We'll see you later.